If you want to learn how to animate in CatCut just like this, then this video will show you how step by step. Alright, let's use this video as an example. And let's say we want to animate this image or this picture. So first, let me just extend it throughout the video. And let's start off by making it smaller. And let's start by putting it at a corner. So first, before you want to animate anything, you need to first decide when you want to start the animation. It could be at the start of your video or it could be any point in your video. So let's say we want to start animating over here. First, you need to click on the thing that you want to animate. And then if you look on the right side, there is position and size. To the right, there is this diamond. If you move your mouse over, it says add keyframe. So you're just clicking on the very first diamond over here. If you click it, it's going to add a keyframe like this. So here you can see we have our first keyframe. Then just move forward. And then now you can animate your image or your picture. So you just adjust it to however you want it to look like. Let's say I want to move it from here to here like this okay and when i let go of my mouse you're going to see that another keyframe will be added over here just like this now let me play the video and show you what we have originally it's over here and then it's just going to move to exactly where we move the image to so as you can see the first keyframe is what it looks like at the very start and then the second keyframe over here is what it will look like in the end. So the first keyframe is the before, and then the second keyframe is after. And that's why you can see that between these two keyframes, it's going to move like this. So you can animate on CapCut by moving things around from point A to point B. You can also make things bigger or smaller. So let me just click on the second keyframe, and let's say we make it bigger like this, put it in the middle, so here you can see, this is what the first keyframe is. This is what the second keyframe is. So it's going to start off like this and it will end up looking like that. Okay. So if I play the video, it's going to look like this. So here you can see we can animate by making it move. We can also make it bigger. So I'm going to animate it again. So I'm just going to do what I just did. Okay. Let's say at this point, I want to animate this image. So just like before, over at position and size, we click on the very first diamond, which is at keyframe. So I click it, we have our first keyframe, we go forward, and now we can animate the image. Okay, just move it to exactly how you want it to look like at the end. So let's say this time around, I'm going to move it to the side, I'm going to make it smaller, I'm also going to rotate. So these are all the things you can do to animate your images or your pictures. So if I play the video, you're gonna see that it's gonna start off like this and it will end up looking like that. So I'll just play the video. So now you might be thinking, how can you control the speed of animation? How can you make the animation go faster or slower? Well, you can do that by adjusting the distance between your two keyframes. So if you want to make the animation to be very slow, then just make sure that these two keyframes are very far apart. So I'm gonna make it quite far like this. And if I play the video, you're gonna see that the animation will be very slow. That's because the two keyframes are very far apart. Okay, if I make them closer like this, so it's very close to each other, then the animation will be a lot faster, just like this. So if I make them even closer, then the animation will be even faster. So if you want to make the animation fast, then just bring the two keyframes closer to each other. The closer they are, the faster the animation will be. If you want the animation to be slower, then you want to bring them far apart. Okay, the further they are, the longer and slower the animation will be. So here you can see the keyframes are very far apart. And when I play the video, you can see that the animation is very, very slow.